Hey, what's going on everybody? Big Country here. Welcome back to Country Living. And today we are looking at the GoVad RDA by Vandy Vape. Alright guys, welcome to the first look of the GoVad RDA by Vandy Vape. I was just taking the plastic off of this thing so it wouldn't have a lot of reflection and look at that. <laughs> I took it off. So anyway, this is the box that it comes in. It's a Vandy Vape Full Steam Ahead. GoVad RDA in that nicotine package. On this side here, is to, you know, to learn more, go to, the, go to the website and so forth. Manufacturing information and so forth. Vandy Vape on the top. See, this side is your authentication code, your color. This is, I got the black version along with the serial or the uh, barcode. And on the back, it does say the features, flavor-centric airflow, utilizing both side and bottom airflow channels, creating a crosswind experience, available for popular wide bore drip tip and Delrin wide bore drip tip. Right, so let's open up this package. As you see, you open it up, you get your RDA that already has a drip tip on it, and you get two other drip tips to come with this, which gives you your option, which I think is cool. Me, I prefer, I know I'm already going to like this wide bore tip because I like the wide bore. So let's look at the RDA itself. <clears throat> There's the Vandy Vape logo. The other side is the Govad name. Let's see, I haven't, I haven't even, I've only seen just a couple of videos on this thing. I haven't watched it a lot. Took that off. It does say Vandy Vape along the rim. I don't know, how many times do we need to see Vandy Vape? I mean, or company names, it's kind of annoying. So you got bottom of bottom airflow here on both sides, and you also got the adjustable airflow on the sides of the barrel here. Already though, I'm not even taking it apart, it's turning pretty good. Let's see, is that single coil? Can this do single coil? Let's find out. It looks like there's like a bunch of air holes because this thing just never really stops to turn around. You move it over once. And I just, yeah, I guess it just got a, a perforated pattern all the way around this thing to where, you know, instead of most pistols have just like one section on one side and the other side, you got to turn left or right all the time. This one just continues around no matter where you're at. You can't, I don't think, you can't even shut it down to one on each side because... It's always there. I guess you can shut it down to half on each side. That's the only way you can restrict it. Doesn't look as if the bottom is uh, adjustable at all. Speaking of the bottom, let's look at the bottom. Let's say go ahead. Serial number and whoever that signature is. I guess he's the, the designer, Stefan, Stefan or whatever, what I've heard he's called. Of course, the screw down there. See what else is in the box besides the two drip tips, which we already know about. Anything? <clears throat> These extra screws are Phillips head screws, along with the screwdriver, a bunch of O-rings, uh, some extra insulators. That's three screws, two gold screws, and it looks like a stainless steel one. Is this squonk compatible? I don't see a squonk pin in here, so let's say no. Of course, the user manual pretty thick my first vandy vape product it's a pretty in-depth manual it's cool might as well go ahead and take a look at these drip tips whoops come back here come back here you see the one that comes on it how big it is of course, you got the small one right here, and then a bigger one that's just chubbier. The smaller one is actually even taller as well. So, you got your choice of whichever one you prefer. 
as a drip tip, which is cool. I think it's I think it's kind of, I think we're probably going to see a lot more of that trend coming up uh, in the near future. Once, usually, once one company does something, everybody else will do the same. So let's pop off the barrel. Check out the uh, inside of it. Conical shaping inside here. Nice curves. And if you're wondering why the curved conical shaping inside these drip tips are so, or these top caps are so important, look at it this way. If you have a hard edge like a corner, and you know, imagine this: you're sucking in the vapor. The va a lot of vapor and flavor is going to get stuck in those corners. But with this conical shape, the air suction will force all of that flavor through the curve and it won't have nowhere to get stuck except come out of the chimney into your mouth. That's, that's why the, uh, the curvature, the conical shapes of these top caps are so important. Let's take a look at the airflow here before we look at the build deck. Yeah, these, these uh, like I said, the bottom is non adjustable, they're wide open all the time. Comes through the center. It looks like it could be, well, maybe not. But these holes, yeah, they're just continuous. They're just perforated all the way around. No matter how you turn the airflow on the side, it's only going to be. Hang on. Oh, that's right. Here I am talking about single coil and dual coil. This thing is pretty much designed specific. I mean, you can do dual coil. But I think this build, this is probably for just a, a, a single coil. So let's look at this build deck. Clamp style. Spring loaded? Yes, they are. See? Let me see. Do that. Yeah, it's a spring loaded man. That's gonna make it easy. Easy peasy. So, if I would just do a single coil, of course I'd put one post here, one post in here, and be right across the center like that, right above the airflow. Now, if I did a dual coil, would I do it this way? Have the, have both coils this way going parallel from left to right? Or could I do very small, if I, I guess I could put them side by side if I really wanted to, because if you do them this way, where's the damn cotton going to go? How are you going to wick it? So I guess it had to be this way. You'd have to have small coils in order to do dual on here, uh, from what I can tell. But then again, I'm not 100% experienced either. Which is going to work out fine for me, because I'm, this is cool. Let's do a dual. Let's put, let's put a coil in this thing. Let's see. What do I want to do? Let's see. I got some. Let's get an alien. I got some uh, pre built aliens here from Max Vaping. Uh, stainless steel, 24 gauge core with a 32 gauge wrap. Let's get an alien put in this thing. And if you want to know where to get these, I can put a link in the description for you. If I don't forget. If I do forget, just uh, point it out in the comments. All right, so is this a three wrap, three mil? Uh, this is more my thing. Yeah, more my thingy. More my th there they are. Okay, this is just a two, two and a half bit there. Actually, I think it is a two and a half. Yeah, three is a little too too big. Let me go back to two and a half. Oops. Sorry for all that racket, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to have to twist. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. fairly easy. So if I do this, you kind of notice what I just, what I did, I put my, 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 my driver in here. I just kind of pressed it down just to where my driver is touching the the ring of the of the of the barrel, and I push it down to where it's a little closer 
to the airflow. That should give me better flavor. I'll have the cotton coming down through here. Cotton will be blocking off these side airflows. The rest of it should be coming through right under and it should all go around these posts. It'll go through the posts actually because there's holes that go through the posts. And we should have a lot of airflow just coming through the cotton and through the thing and just up under. It should should provide for an amazing flavor. But let's find out. Let's get this thing on uh, on a mod and get it wicked up and juiced up and let's try it. All right, so let's put it on top of my alien right now. Let's see what this thing officially registers as ohms. 0.127. So that thing is a 0.127 ohm. Single alien, that would be uh, mech only because <laughs> no wonder I got low ohms when I try to put this on the Jeep rib. Okay, so let's get see if we can get some color on this thing, get it, make sure everything's all nice and even. This door is at 40 watts right now. A few hot spots as to be expected, just like always. Just drum them out. Alien wrap looks so cool. Let's crank it up for another, let's go about 70. Now 75. Okay, nice and fluffy. Today we're gonna to be using some strawberry custard from Sauce, or Saws. There's gonna be a full review on this line coming up here soon. I like the, it's a 120 ml bottle. I like the nutritional fact kind of label system they got going on here, of course, for social media. Uh, I got 3MG, not for children, 21 plus. I like the packaging. I like the way it came to me in delivery. And I was going to wait to open up this entire package for the for the review, uh, but they sent me five flavors and I, I strawberry custard. I had to pop it open and, oh, it's really good. So look forward to that. Smoking the eye, vaping the eye, look at that, yeah. Airflow's everywhere, you don't have to worry about lining up airflow when you put this thing back on. Just uh, put it back on and right now it's wide open. Airflow in the bottom, airflow in the top, all around. Let's take it up to my preferred wattage, which is around 120. Yeah, 125's fine. All right, now we're back, we've got this for 125 with the GoVad, loaded up with the Alien, reading at a 0.12 ohm, single coil Alien. Let's try it out, first time. Need some more juice. Man, it's hitting, I like the airflow. We turn it down a little bit. That's hitting pretty hard. Turn it down to 100 watts. That's hitting really hard. That's hitting good. I like that hit. <clears throat> All right. And that's strawberry custard. Oh, from Sauz. S-A-U-Z. Mm, awesome. Okay, yeah, great flavor. Great airflow. A lot of airflow. Let's try to turn it down a little bit. Let's go to... Towards only like half airflow showing per hole. So let's see how much we get out of that. Thicker, thicker cloud, milky cloud. The airflow doesn't sound all that horrible. I mean, I don't hear any squeaking or whistling. I think, I think I can turn it. You know what? I know what I gotta do. I got it hitting hard. Let me turn it down to normal. There we go. That's good. That's good RDA. I mean, so far, the airflow is good. I like the adjustable. Where you can just, I mean, I think it might be cool if it was. I'm going to figure out how to do a dual coil build on this thing. Probably watch some videos. The, the, the loading, the, the spring loaded clamps is fucking amazing. I like that. I know that's more 
often around the area now or around the market these days. But uh, it's my first one. I like that. It's, it makes it easier to build. Okay, so you know you know how it is. Every time I have a, 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 a an opening, as I'll you know it's my first time with it. I will use it for a little while, and I'll come back later on with a final thought video and a, a full review. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. If only if you enjoyed this video. But I do have all my social media links in the bottom: Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram's a big one, and um, I even I even start a Snapchat. I haven't got around. I don't. I haven't figured it out yet. But uh, if you want to follow me there, go ahead. And uh, I do, again, thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, uh, just keep on vaping and living, baby. Man, that's the custard so good. Mm.